Hi, Blind Guy Garage. So I did a video a while back about doing the valve lash adjustment on a Bridget Stratton single cylinder engine. <clears throat> like this one. Uh, this was, this, it, I, but I didn't do any symptoms video. So this one has the symptom and uh, I want y'all to kind of see this. So it kind of will backfire and bump the flywheel back the other way. So what we're going to do here is see, see if it does it. Sometimes they do it every single time, sometimes they don't. Yeah. You see how I did that? Alright. Now, if you can hear me, you can always, hopefully you can hear the tick. That loud ticking noise is coming right here. And if I grab the phone, Watch out, the little video is about to get loud. You can even hear it and feel it. And all of that. So, I did a head gasket on this engine. Did it real quick, lickety split kind of thing. But I did it, and it didn't adjust the valves. Sometimes you get lucky. And uh, you don't have to immediately adjust the valves and all that. But I didn't really care because it gave me an opportunity to do this video. So I'm using my electric impact. Oh, and I hadn't even got the tools already out. So I'm going to have to get the tools out on the video or pause it. But it takes... I think a 10 millimeter wrench on these. And guys, I use a valve cover gasket on all of these. Uh, some of them don't really call for one, uh, but because you can use silicone. I don't. I don't like. I'm telling the oil kind of smells gassy. I don't like using silicone. There's the culprit right there. So. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'll get you over here for a closer look. Ooh, come on. See, the, um, I don't want to be loud in the phone, but see how much that's moving? Don't want that. And then turn the engine yeah. turn it the other way maybe I can go the other way it should have this one on its loose oh boy yeah she's really loose yeah it's really really loose so that's unacceptable so now what I'm going to do is I hate to set you guys so far away, but I can't find my tools uh, to, to, to use to hold all this stuff. So, whatever. Um. Uh, 
I think I'm gonna have to get y'all closer. I just, I just uh, think y'all need to be closer to what's going on here. Maybe we can get it to happen. Set the battery charger right by me. Try to see with. Filler gauges. So, but I have done many, many, many adjustments. I can tell that one's nearly double what it should be. So, what you do is you get the appropriate sized Allen wrench, whatever that may be. I, uh, it's smaller than that one. Smaller than that one. Uh, that's not the right size, but neither is that. I forgot. It's not 10 millimeters. What is that? That's like 9 sixteenths or something. I don't remember. Some in, some in there. Different. That don't mean they're different on each one of these Intex single cylinders. I just can't remember what the heck they are. That's not right either. Bigger. And that is the pivot and everything uh, on the, on the, for the rocker arm assembly. But I'm looking for a 14. That's not right. That's a 14. It feels like a 14. I can't see the stupid size on it. 14 and 9 16 are very similar sizes, and that's not it. Yes. I don't particularly like using ratchet wrenches on this kind of thing, but I'm having a hard time finding the deck gun size. What the heck, man? Holy Moses. They are different sizes on newer engines. It just depends. By golly, just go find the right size. All right, just go find it. All right, I'm going to start on the one that's loose. I'm going to loosen it. Turn my inner adjust. This is what actually sets the adjustment. Turn that back some, then we're going to run this in. And as you run that in, you're going to use your feeler gauge and you run it up underneath the rocker arm and the top of the valve. This has little pucks on top of the valve. 
and I want you only want about this is the exhaust so you want about 12 14 thousandths I think is what they say I don't know I just know what these motors want for the stuff we're doing. I'm we building no current in or checking it because even though you run this little screw in the middle in it does not mean that when you tighten the out the, the, the pivot when you tighten this pivot you want a little bit you, you, it's going to take a little bit more of the slack up but also uh, the intake valve does not need as much clearance and does not require the clearance that the exhaust valve does because of expansion due to heat. So what you do is you set the um, intake valve a tiny bit tighter than the exhaust valve. Um, I went to see. I'm going to make sure my OHV is pointed the right way. Wipe the funk off of my hand. Wipe the funk off the gasket. Set the valve cover up there. And see. One bolt. Two bolt. And yeah, I'm doing the top on purpose. Uh, it just kind of keeps that gasket from flopping around as much to do the bottom two and then um, also makes it easier to get the bottom two in slam all the time we got a little bit got oil and crap all over my hand all over the muffler so when I do start this and run it for a minute it's going to smoke but that's this right here is why I like gaskets. Silicone makes it where you cannot just immediately go in there. Like if I had silicone on that, I could let it sit for a while. And if you don't, it'll eventually, it'll typically it'll leak on you almost immediately. So now I'm gonna wipe some of the oil off my hand. And yeah, we lost a little oil. It's not going to be enough to be detrimental to the engine for a little short start. It's not yes. a bad situation in these little engines. Um, just for that one. And I'm going to put that on the oil. And I'm going to walk right past y'all. 
watching and we're gonna see if we have any weird boom booms happening. And I left the seat down so it's insanely hot because I got the seat in the sun. Let's see what we got. started really easy, no bang bang click click, pow pow, all that kind of crap. Uh, that's no choke on the engine whatsoever, sitting at idle. The engine is not warm. So, everybody freak out. He didn't use fitter gauges. What? Dude, that ain't right. That's not gonna... Yeah, okay. I, it, every day, all day, all the time. It's not that hard. It seems like it's a big deal, um, but it's not, you know? It's really not. Like, share, subscribe. Do all that stuff. I'm Brad the Blind Guy. Share this with some more, I don't know, visually impaired people. Um, hate kids that want to learn how to do this stuff. Anybody. Guys, this stuff is easy. This all also translates over to cars. And well, there ain't none out there to show you. But yeah, cars and stuff. Thank you guys. Y'all stay blessed.